Welcome to ENN On Air, our digital news show giving you the stories of today. I'm Amanda Pillig. And I'm Phoebe Smith. Thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with an update on Hurricane Ian. Ian is now a major Category 3 storm and it's headed directly for Florida's Gulf Coast. The storm is so powerful that it could be a Category 4 by the time it hits the U.S meaning winds as more than 130 miles per hour. Hurricanes can change paths and intensity, but if Ian keeps on as predicted, we could feel its effects here in Elon by Friday. The rest of family weekend at Elon might also be rainy and windy because of the storm. Despite Ian, the university is planning for family weekend rain or shine, with as many as 2,000 families expected on our campus. Our Sydney Spencer spoke with businesses in downtown Elon to see how they're preparing for the upcoming weekend. Families will be traveling from all over the country this weekend to campus, and all of them will need a place to eat. <laughs> Owner of Pandora's Pies, Kimberly Holt, is eager for the crowds and busyness that comes with family weekend. Excited. Um, uh, big weekends like that are always fun, um, just with the excitement in the air, people, you know, all around campus. But with the larger crowds also comes extra stress on businesses to accommodate for them. Last year, restaurants ran out of certain ingredients and types of alcohol. Owner of the Oak House, Phil Smith, knows just how daunting the weekend ahead of him will be. He says he will continue to prepare throughout the week. Extra people, extra hours, just a lot of work. Um, and then preparing for what feels like thousands of people you know, coming in from all over the country. Smith says he will be stocking up on coffee and alcohol and scheduling extra staff for the weekend. Honestly, no matter how hard you prepare or, you know, or how well you, you think it through, it's still going to be a little bit of controlled chaos. Holt's advice to the incoming masses? Be patient. Um, you know, there are so many restaurants in Elon, and then when all of a sudden you get an extra, you know, couple thousand people in town, just be patient with, with all the restaurants that we're doing the best we can. Smith and Holt both agree that family weekend is one of the busiest times of the year, second only to commencement. Sydney Spencer, Elon Local News. We'll have family weekend restaurant hours, rain plans, and more on our website, elonnewsnetwork.com. Family weekend also kicks off the beginning of the performing arts season with the annual Dancing in the Landscape performance. The production is hosted by the dance department. It features work from student choreographers, faculty, and guest artists. It's also the first time the freshman dance majors get to perform as part of the Elon Dance Program. This year's performance is set to take place in the Academic Pavilion. Elon Dance professor Jasmine Powell is this year's creative director. She says the location is meant to show that dance is also an academic program. Um, as much as Elon holds up Academia, dance is also right there in the mix, and so we want to put them side by side and share the same space. Powell also says that the Native American Student Association will be acknowledging that the land the dancers are performing on belonged to indigenous cultures before the performance. Honoring that and having them bless the land before we bring in the dance program to dance on the same land um, kind of like hits home for me in terms of honor and reverence and giving meaning to what dancing in the landscape is actually about. Performances for this weekend are free and set for 5.30 p.m. on Friday and noon on Saturday. If there is a rain cancellation, the performance will be recorded at a later date and released online. Schools, sports, work, and social lives have the potential to wear down your body. As flu season begins and the risk for other illnesses continues, our Angelina Fantaroni has ways you can stay healthy this semester. University physician Dr. Jeanette Archinal says it's never too late to start healthy habits and prevent symptoms before they start. There are some simple things to stay healthy without having to isolate yourself. Archinal says it can be tempting to skip out on sleep, but it's important not to. Uh, first thing is make sure you get enough sleep. Uh, not having enough sleep lowers your immune response. So if you have two people, one who is getting seven or eight hours sleep a night and one who's getting four or five, and they have exactly the same interactions with exactly the same people, the one who's getting, getting seven to eight hours sleep will not get as ill. Archinol also says to avoid ingesting substances that alter the ability to make sensible decisions. Doing so puts students at a higher risk of getting sick or injured. 
Archinel says student health sees illnesses and injuries, like concussions, as a result of students not making smart choices, like sharing drinks and not washing their hands. It is recommended to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Junior Cassidy Paquette says she is more aware of her health after the pandemic. Definitely being more like conscious about like taking my vitamins now, noticing like is it allergies or is it like something more. Archinal recommends that students who are already feeling sick should wear a mask. Anytime anybody has any sort of illness, they should wear a mask. It doesn't matter if it's a cold or it's COVID or it's a stomach bug or it's strep or it's mono or it's flu. Wear a mask. Angelina Fantaroni, Elon Local News. Dr. Archinal also recommends getting outside and moving around as a way to support emotional and mental health. Well, that's all we have for you this evening. Thanks again for watching ENN On Air. For all the news you need to know when we're not on air, visit our website, elonnewsnetwork.com. And follow us on social media at Elon News Network. Have a great night, Elon.